What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about utilizing the power of artificial intelligence for your videos. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to create these cool, trippy, Google Deep Dream-esque videos. I'm also going to show you how you can utilize this tool that we're going to be talking about, EBSynth, which is an extremely powerful software. You can take the style of any image, any portrait, and transfer that style onto any video that you'd like. So if you do enjoy, please leave a like to help the growth of the channel. Comment what you'd like to see next from me. Subscribe if you guys are new here. So go ahead to the link in the description, download EBSynth, it's 100% free. Once you have that, follow along, we're going to show you how to deep dream your videos, we're going to show you how to apply those custom styles, and even create your own custom styles in Photoshop. So let's hop right into it. Of course, you're going to need to click the link in the description and download EBSynth. Once you've done that, let's fire up After Effects or whatever editing software you're using for this. All you need is an editing software that allows you to export your videos as PNG sequences. So keep that in mind. You should be able to do this with anything, just make sure you can export as a PNG sequence. All right, so once you've downloaded EBSynth, let's go ahead and just fire that up and let that sit in the background while we set up our video. I'll just slide this away for now. Let's go ahead and set up our project here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition and I'm just gonna name this AI. Next, you choose your video. I'm gonna use this clip of Elon doing his thing as a good little example here. So we'll drag this into our project bin. Of course, you guys can use whatever you'd like. If you wanna practice with this clip, I'll even leave a download. Let's take our footage and drag it into our composition here. We're gonna go up to file, we're gonna go to export, we're gonna to add to render queue, and I'm going to export this as a PNG sequence to get it ready for EBSynth. So we'll click output module here, I'm gonna change the format to PNG sequence, and that's pretty much all you have to do. So let's go ahead and find where we want to name this. This is a very important step here. We're gonna create our file structure. So I'm gonna create a new folder here and I'm going to name this input. While we're here, let's just set up our other folder. So I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna create another new folder. I'm going to name this keyframes. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna create another new folder and I'm going to name this output. So you want three folders in total. Let's select our input folder double click in here. If you want to here, you can name this. I'm just gonna leave it as it is and click save. And then I'm going to click render. All right, so once your PNG sequence render is finished, this is what you should have. You should have a folder filled with each frame of that video exported out as a PNG. So now we're ready to apply this with EBSynth. So this is where you can get creative with it. I'm gonna show you a fast way to do it. So let's pop on over to one of my favorite sites here. This is Deep Dream Generator. Now I talked about this way back in the day, maybe in 2017, 2018 where we talked about creating deep dreams. This is gonna be a far more effective method and you can do so much more using this EBSynth software. So in this deep dream generator website, you guys can mix your videos with a specific style, which is great because you can upload your own picture, mix it with your video. You can go through the preset styles that they have here. As you see, they have these different thin styles with some really cool coloration, or you can just full on deep dream, which is gonna give you that crazy psychedelic look that you saw at the beginning. But let's set that up. We're gonna go ahead and select our file here. So navigate back to that input folder that you made earlier, go into that folder, and you're going to want to select the very first image here. Select it and upload it. If you want, you can go into settings here. If you want higher resolution, I'm pretty sure they have some paid packages. If you want to look into that, I'm just going to set it at the 0.6 megabytes. Inception depth, I'll keep that in normal. You can go deeper, fathomless if you want. Let's even try deep. Enhance, I'll put that at high and I'll click generate. All right, so that only took a couple of seconds and here is the crazy image which I just generated. You guys can have fun with this, experiment as much as you want. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm going to save the image. I won't put this in any folders for now, I'll just toss it in here. So keep in mind, since I'm not paying for the higher upgrade version that gives me the HD images, this isn't gonna be 1920 by 1080, so it's not going to match. It's not gonna match the other frames that we inputted before. If your original video you exported is a different resolution, just make sure the resolution matches. So I'm just going to pop into Photoshop. I'm going to go up to file new and I'm going to create a new 1920 by 1080 resolution project here. And then I'm going to drag in the image that we just exported from deep dream generator and we'll just scale that up. So it doesn't look that bad even for being scaled up. Let's click file save as and we'll go and save this as a PNG and we're going to save this in our keyframes folder. So go to keyframes and I'll name this deep dream. Now we can open up EBSynth. So let's bring this back up here. Now let's go ahead and start setting this up. So first off, it says keyframes. Let's go ahead and select the keyframes folder. So we'll go in here, select keyframes, open, 
select your keyframe in here, click open. Now we can select our video. So where it says video, click select. We're gonna go to input. We're gonna open up that folder, select the very first frame here and click open. And now we can select where we want to output this. So where it says output, click select. And you're going to want to select the output folder that we made. So super easy. We got it all mapped out for you. Click select folder. So let's go ahead and set up the duration here and where our keyframe is. So the photo we originally edited in Deep Dream Generator is this very first frame, so frame zero. So we can select our keyframe as frame zero because that's what the keyframe is matched up with. Stop is gonna be at zero on the left and on the right. This is gonna be however many frames your video PNG sequence is. So if you click video here, you go to input, if you just scroll all the way down, you'll see how many frames you have in total. So we have 196. So I'll enter 196. And there you go. All you need to do at this point is click synth. All right, guys, so let's hop back into After Effects and check out our creation. So in After Effects, open up your project bin. You're going to right click in here and you're going to want to go to import multiple files. So now we navigate to our output folder. If you followed all those steps, like I showed you in the tutorial, you should have something that looks like this big folder of images. Just select the first image here, make sure the PNG sequence is checked, import as footage, that should all be default, and click import, and then click done. So let's create a new sequence here, and let's name this output, and then we're gonna go ahead and drag in the image sequence that we just created, and then go ahead and play, and admire the cool stuff that you got going on here. I think that this one is even more weird, trippy, and horrifying than the first one I made, so that's a W in my book. If you zoom in on his hand, you can see it looks like a hamster or a gerbil or something. I've been doing this since around 2017, and I've been noticing more and more of these AI tools becoming available. Make sure you guys are taking advantage of them. You can do some amazing things. So at this point, I've showed you all of the steps on how to use EB Synth and how to mix together things. I want to use the remaining time in this tutorial just to talk a little bit about customization, changing things around. So the first thing I'm going to mention here, if for any reason your results aren't that smooth, maybe the track gets lost at some point, what you can always do is you can go go back into your input folder, find the point where the video messed up. So if, say for example, you're making something and around halfway through, the AI just gets messed up and the track doesn't look that good. So you could take one of these middle frames here, you could control C to copy it, you could go back to your keyframe folder, control V to paste it, and then you could do the exact same processing steps. So I could take that back to that Deep Dream website, I could process it, put it in Photoshop to scale it up, and create a second keyframe. So you can set multiple keyframes in here to have smoother results. And the last thing I wanna show you is how you can customize these frames to create any type of look you want. This is one of the main selling points of EB Synth. So let's go back into our input folder and we're gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop once again and we're gonna customize this from scratch. So I'll create a new 1920 by 1080 project here and I'm gonna go back into my input folder and we'll drag in the very first frame. So we'll drag this in. Now we can customize this however we like. So, so I'm gonna to recommend to you Ben Marriott. He's an awesome YouTuber, talks about motion graphics a lot. He's talked about EB Synth a lot. And he showed the steps on customizing, painting, overdrawing on these frames, and then using EB Synth to create whatever you like. Check that out if you guys want to look more into this. Those of you who have art skills, this is where you're really gonna shine. So I'll right click on the layer, I'll rasterize it so I can start making adjustments. I'll create a new layer just by clicking this button in the bottom right. I'll grab my brush tool. Let's go up to my brushes in the top left. I'm gonna use Kyle's Real Oils, one of the built-in ones, of course. And I'll just start drawing in his face. Maybe you wanna do some line animation instead of you guys going through frame by frame and painstakingly putting these little dot every frame like I've shown you in my line animation videos, we can use AI to fix that. Maybe let's just go full creative here and I'll kinda of add this like little skeleton looking effect over top. While we're in Photoshop, I should also mention if you go up to filter, there's neural filters, which is built in AI technology, similar to what you can do with that website that I showed you earlier. You'll see you can turn on style transfer and there's a bunch of these built into Photoshop. I made an entire video talking about this so if you want to check that out and have that integration with Photoshop it may be easier for you check out the link down below so let's go up to file save as save on your computer and we'll create a new keyframe so we'll go back here let's create a keyframes to folder because we're gonna try a different effect but use the same video of course if you're doing this on a different video you'd have to repeat those steps but we'll create keyframes too and we'll save this as just paint face We'll pop back into EB Synth here and let's do those exact same steps. So we're gonna go ahead and select our keyframe folder, which is right here, it's in keyframes too. Select that. We're gonna select our video folder. Let's click Synth. All right guys, a couple of minutes later, our Synth is complete. Let's pop back into After Effects and check it out. 
So we'll create another new comp. I'll name this paint face. Right click in here, import multiple files. Let's go and find our second output folder, which is right here. Select the first frame, import, click done. Drag that in and let's see what we made. Pretty good. You see the smoke messes it up there. So again, you could utilize those keyframes, but you can see the power of AI, how this is a powerful tool, how you can use this in your workflows. I hope this opened your eyes to a lot of creative things you can do with this. And that's about it, guys. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like. It helps a huge amount. All relevant links will be down in the description. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting, and I'll see you guys in the next one.